Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is just an unusual case of a really expanded superior labrum, and also the biceps labral anchor is expanded, and they have a paralabral cyst. So this is a 61-year-old male with shoulder pain, no history of injury. They have a lot of just regular findings, like number one, they have a large AC joint, severe AC arthropathy. You can see the spur pushes down on the supraspinatus. Here's the muscle. There's the central tendon. You can see that spur poke right down on the supraspinatus. So this may be associated with impingement. They had a little bit of tendinopathy. But the main finding was right here that superior labrum and the biceps tendon, the intraarticular portion of the biceps tendon, which is right here, both were really expanded and have a lot of increased signal. Down here is the biceps tendon. Within the groove, it looks normal here, so it's just the intraarticular portion that's expanded. If we go to another view, we see this large expanded superior labrum. This is the biceps labral anchor here. This is that superior labrum. If we go posteriorly, huge expanded superior labrum, we see this. They have a septative fluid collection here. It looks like a paralabral cyst. And it looks like a mucoid degeneration with this um, cyst. And this reminds me of the ACL, where you can have a large ACL that's expanded and an associated ACL cyst. Or in the meniscus, similarly, you can have a big uh, meniscus that's expanded and have a meniscal cyst or paramenuscal cyst coming off of it. And so this is something I usually don't see, which is uh, within the labrum, the same appearance of mucoid degeneration with expansion and an associated cyst. Now, the rotator cuff is getting pinched from the top here, from the enlarged AC joint, and also from the bottom, from this expanded labrum. The patient also had an extensive tear of the labrum, went all the way through the back of the labrum. Here's a posterior labrum. Here's the glenoid. The cortex you can see here in the back is irregular. We lose that normal cupping of the posterior glenoid rim, so there's our arthritis. And then at the periosteal attachment here, it looks like the posterior labrum is just completely torn. It goes right through the full thickness of the periosteal attachment, so it's a, a detached tear but not displaced. And that, that labral tear went all the way through the bottom, posterior, and also all the way through the superior labrum as well. And here you can see, interestingly, this large superior labrum posterior superior labrum, and this is the biceps uh, here, the intraarticular portion. So I believe this is going to be an unusual mixoid degeneration with a, um, um, I'm sorry, a mucoid degeneration of the labrum and biceps with an associated uh, cyst, a paralabral cyst, and also they had this loose body over here. Um, and that's it. So interesting case. Thank you very much.